What's the crack lads? Welcome back. It's Thursday giving you a little Thursday roundup here today. So firstly, we do have a brand new Manchester United Bruno Fernandes card that is going to be in your inbox. You will be able to claim that. It's a free highlighted Bruno card. Um, I mean, he's not going to be, you know, end game, um, but I do think that he's a pretty decent card. And that's obviously one of uh, the reasons why people are going to be doing this um, and getting this card because it's free and testing him out. It's because they have renewed their global partnership with United to celebrate this. We're holding a special campaign and that campaign follows through to the events as well. And also they do have Paul Scolzi there as well in a box of 50. We'll show you that in a second, right? But I want to talk about the biggest addition that they've talked about today with this. And it's not a card. It's the player free player reset, right? So based on feedback, we have decided to make player progression reset at no cost with the update V4.0 scheduled for release in mid-September. And this is going to be, you're going to be able to reset your players for free. To celebrate this change, we'll be running a free player reset progression reset with starting today. You can reset players by following the steps below. So basically, right, this has been that if you have a player built in a specific way, say you have a name out, right, and if you're new to the game, and there's a lot of new people playing the game, a lot of questions coming in. Um, but if you have a player like this, you can reset their player progression, right? Now, usually it costs money, but today it's going to be free. And once eFootball25 launches, it's going to be free forevermore, right? Unless they bring it back, which I probably don't think they will. So usually this would cost 600,000 GP. Now it's costing you zero, right? They're doing this today, starting today. And that's going to follow through the whole way until eFootball25. So you can train Neymar up with like, you know, 90 finishing or you can train him with 90 speed or whatever build of the, of the, of the card that you want to do. It's nice when you're testing out cards, right? They're also going to be bringing the contracts back, which we know that there's going to be no need for contracts going forward as well. You can see Ronaldo was out of contract there. Server's a bit heavy today, lads. There's a bit of loading going on, right? But there is a brand new trailer as well. This trailer is just to celebrate Manchester United re-signing. As I said, you get your free Bruno. Scolzi is the epic card as well. And it's just a very simplified trailer. But I do think the player reset is a nice option to have. I definitely think... I'm kind of, I do like this idea, right? Because especially for me, if I'm building a player, I want to test out a player five, six ways without it costing me GP until I settle on the main one for you guys and for obviously to be able to give the best roundup of what the card is good at, right? In terms of everything else, events are just still the same. There's a brand new Manchester United event as well. And then also the daily game and all that is going to be continuing on. We do have the Bruno card as well. Um, and as I said, it's a bit heavy today with the servers. We do have the Bruno card, which will be in here. We've already redeemed it. The login bonus and the login bonus here. Um, that is going to be just for your, your uh, you know, getting the, your login bonus as normal, right? But Bruno will also be in here. As I said, the servers seem to be a bit sticky today. There seems to be a lot of loading going on. And honestly, boys, I mean, this game is still being downloaded and played by a lot of newcomers every month. And I think that it's kind of grown, especially on mobile. Um, I think it's something that they'll definitely need to, you know, improve upon going into the future of eFootball 2025 is the loading and all that, right? But not to waste any more time, right? I do feel like the, the, the free player uh, reset progression is really nice. Also, with the new live data update that they've added, they've added a couple of new players as well. We'll get into that in a second, um, as long as this doesn't take too long to load. And then, of course, you do have your special player list as well here, which is going to be Scolzi and the boys. Lads, this loading is ridiculous, man. Crazy. But it is every Thursday, man, that the game is like this. We finally get our summer transfer volume number two, and we have the epic Paul Scolzi who's in a box of 50. It's a good chance of getting Scolzi. I honestly think that they'll bring more of these boxes with like 50 for one player. Um, I do think that it's probably a smart way of doing it because people can just decide, right, I 100% want this card and I've got like, you know, only to put in less, like less than three times the cards. Now, this also comes with Ericsson, Shaw and Hoyland um, and the rest of the Manchester United players and City players. There's a couple of mixtures in there. Scolzi is pretty decent, right? We'll show you a little build for Scolzi here, thanks to OC. Um, it's a fairly decent card. He goes to about 100 overall. Um, you know, you've got your acceleration, you've got your balance, your tight possession, your finishing. It's a perfect attack and midfielder slash CMF whole player. Um, I do also feel as well that with the summer transfer players, they're probably going to be, you know, hold, they were holding back there for a while. Um, and I do feel that, that these summer transfer players here that you see, you've got Mbappe, you've got Onana, you've got Douglas Louise, you've got all the players, Smith Rowe, Spinazzola, you've got all of these guys who are brand new signings for their clubs, Lenormand and obviously Fulcrook as well. Ito for Bayern Munich. I think he got injured the other day. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's some nice players in here. Mbappe is going to be Mbappe. Lads. If you've got an Mbappe card, 
it's definitely going to, or if you don't have Mbappe already, you know what you're getting with this Mbappe card. You know, he's going to be decent speed, everything. Now, they've also added uh, standard player cards as well and new faces to standard player cards. Um, a lot of people have been asking for some young young cards to be added, youngsters to be added. Um, and they actually have added Endrick. So I'm going to just show you him real quick um, and show you exactly. Let me just see. I'll just show you exactly where he is here. One second. So there you go, deep line forward, Endrick. He looks pretty decent, lads. We're definitely going to sign him and train him up 100%. Um, he looks very, very nice, right? 71 speed, 74 acceleration, 72 balance as well. And I do think that with 49 levels, he also has chop turn, dip in shot, acrobatic finishing, first time shot. He will need a bit of work, but he does have a real face. So they've added a couple of new cards to the game. We'll get into that a bit later on in the live stream. And as I said for the events, lads, all the events are pretty much still the same, um, except that there is a Manchester United event, right? So I do feel like at this stage in the game now, they are probably just waiting and showing things uh, properly that they're going to really double down on eFootball 2025. That's kind of where I feel like that they're going with the game. They also talk about measures against exploits as well. So I talked about this before, about a lot of people, um, you know, with a bit of misconduct, right? Using a bit of VPN and stuff. We'll, we'll get into that. In the, in, listen, man, no matter what happens, right? It doesn't matter if there's a pack of crackers and some cheese up for grabs or there's a million GP or there's, you know, a Paul Scholes booster or Mbappe Showtime card. It doesn't matter the reward, People will always, always cheat in video games. It doesn't make a difference what's on reward because they're not doing it for the reward. They're doing it for the Billy Big Balls. That's what they want to be, man. So, I mean, if you cheat in a video game, honestly, I mean, you're just somebody that doesn't season your chicken, honestly. And those people scare me. So measures against exploits, I hope that they do take a firmer stance on this because it has been creeping in, you know, with, with, with weird games happening every now and again. In saying that, I would say 80% of my matches online since eFootball 22 launched have been really nice. It's those 20% that are frustrating when you lose or when you're up against it. Um, but and that's not always, you know, there's also other issues there as well, like net code and stuff like that. But all in all, I think I've been impressed a lot with the online uh, ecosystem of this in terms of the online connection and stuff like that. They also talk about the, pre the uh, player progression. So that's pretty much it, lads. There's not really else to see. Now, I told you I'd give you a sneak peek at the Monday Epic. So this is what's coming Monday. Maldini, Mataus, and Czech. I think this is going to be the best box they've released in a long time. I think this will only be topped by Hullet, Rijkaard, and of course Van Basten. But it's a very, very nice pack. Fortress Maldini is going to be absolutely beautiful. If you have not got Maldini, I think this is going to be a fast rapid Maldini. Um, I think he's going to be very, very nice. We'll do a video on that and talk about it in the live stream as well. And they're the last events here, right? So you can get a free spin here at your summer transfers and a free spin here at your Paul Scholes agent with these. And there's also European club for possession training. And then the PVP is back with the team play. So I will see you guys later on in the stream. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you guys think of this content and I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.